Okay guys, welcome back. We are in today to bring you through a push session. It's been quite a while since I ran through a push session on the channel. It's been mostly legs really, so this will be interesting. Um, a good few kind of things to run through today. I'll take you through, take you through what I'm doing, how I'm doing things, why I'm doing it as usual. I'm gonna go from there. So as usual, just starting off with some mobility work. We'll get straight into it. Starting off with lion Y raise today. So we'll go over that in a second. I'll talk you through a couple of cues. And yeah, big session today, so let's do it. Hopefully. So as I said, we're starting off with lying boy rays, which is going to be obviously side out movement. So we actually started off with this in both of our push sessions before any sort of pressing because we both find that it doesn't necessarily take away from our pressing but if anything it gets kind of warmed up ready to go obviously we can get a lot of um, side out work done beforehand while they are fresh so we can get them really short before actually going into our pressing without affecting our, our pressing a lot of people they can't do anything before they're pressing because it will affect it so it really is just person dependent like if you do some sort of side raise before you press and it ends up really affecting and making you weaker when you're pressing it's probably not ideal but for us we do a side delt movement first and then we'll go into an incline press next so i'll go through a couple of tips now as we go through this okay on this exercise as you will see as i come into the stretch i don't let the cables come across each other or let my hands touch i keep that tension point on there so even when i'm holding that stretch my delts are still really really pulling down my side delts from that position then i don't think about just launching the weight up because we, it's easy to create create momentum and just swing that up so from that position thinking about dragging rather than just launching another thing is instead of thinking about pulling up into yourself i think of the cue of dragging out so if i think about dragging out straight away side out stays on if you think about dragging up i find it's a lot of like trap coming into it and you kind of pull back into it a little bit so to try and kind of avoid that think about dragging out and just think about where you're pulling from as well keep tempo on the way down controls pause on the stretch hold slightly in the contraction as well again even though it's an isolation movement as you would see take it to absolute failure i think the key with this is make it hurt it's going to really start to burn in that second half of the set. Stick with it, fight through that. You're meant to make it hard, it's meant to be sore. So, once it starts to get hard, once that burn starts to come, take that to failure and make it as hard as possible for yourself rather than just swinging away. Go. Now with the pec deck here, we're not going to do any working sets whatsoever. I'm literally just going to do one maybe two sets nowhere near failure literally just trying to get blood into the chest get myself kind of prepared for the pressing so literally nothing um, you know hard here whatsoever just trying to kind of get some blood into that pec before and um, pressing i feel a lot safer by doing so so i like two sets of 15 here 15 to 20 and i feel like 
if you do find it difficult to even connect with your chest when it comes to like a pressing movement, try doing this before uh, and see how much difference you will feel when it comes to your pressing then that your chest is already full of blood. When it comes to pressing, you will see that a lot of people, their elbows will flare out a little bit, which will place a lot more emphasis on the front delt. So kind of to avoid this, obviously that is not the goal. The goal is to put as much stress on the pec. Slightly tuck the elbow in a little bit, so it's gonna be more in line with your pec as you come down, rather than flared out, and a lot more on the front delts. Obviously, you may not be able to move as much loads when your elbows are flared. That's why people do it, because you're usually stronger, but long term, it's gonna you know, really wear away on your shoulder and you're not gonna see much chest growth. So a slight tuck and a lot more stress on the chest rather than ruining your shoulders. Six to three, come on. Oh yeah. Oh, one rep up on last week, and slightly more control as well. So better execution. One more rep. That's progression. And one more cue when it comes to pressing. I already talked on the elbows being tucked. See the wrists. A lot of people press with their wrists back like this, and the bar coming down here. So if you can try and kind of keep them wrists as, as straight as you can, it's going to be a lot safer, and you're going to be able to generate a lot more power as well. And long term, wrists and elbows are going to be a lot a lot safer and reduce the risk of injury in them as well. So instead of being here with these belt back and pressing, try and really lock straight. Oh yeah. One thing I always say to clients is on the eccentric, on the final rep of a set, control it. You know, you'll see me there, even though I had failed on the way up, I had no more reps left in me. You can still do a lot of muscular damage on the way down in the eccentric as well. I've touched on this before, but the last set, or the last rep of a set, where you already reached failure and you can't get any more reps out, just make sure you really kind of control that last rep on the way down, just to finish off the set and finish off as much damage as you possibly can. So 10, 5 and 2.5 please. Switch it on, come on. Big set, come on. Has to be. Back. Has to be. Has to be. Okay. Okay. Easy work. Okay. Don't rush. Drive it hard. There we go. Up. 
complete that run. Okay. It's heavy. Five. Seven. Come on, come on, get after me now, come on. Yes. Beautiful. Yep, control. Same weight, yeah. What about the first set? First, weight, first set was one up down, but was heavier weight. I was happy with the first set. Again, we've done, we've done the third set over there, so. Yeah. For me, especially this handle here, the wider one, it's just uncomfortable in my shoulder joints. So if you have, you know, dodgy shoulders or, or anything, or you find kind of any sort of pressing or overhead pressing awkward, this grip here, kind of a more neutral grip, it's still going to be an overhead press. It's still going to target your, your shoulder, but in a lot of cases, it can be a lot more comfortable for anyone who does struggle to press overhead. For us, we don't really struggle to press overhead, but I still really, really like this handle. It's very comfortable, um, and I feel like I can move kind of more load with it while really still placing the emphasis on the shoulder. So the same when it comes to dumbbell pressing or anything, you don't have to keep it like a neutral position, what everyone does, even twisting the hands in a little bit, so it's a bit more neutral as opposed to like, hands out like this and wide. Mess around to what suits you. So with the machine, different handle grip, even with dumbbells, adjusting the wrists to kind of suit your position a little bit better. Um, be smart and do what feels best for you. One, drive. Yes. Right, bro, yep, yep, okay. Let's go now. Oh. Strong. Oh. 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 Good. Uh, yep. Well okay. So, Prime dip, I really, really like a dip. Whether that be machine or whether that be actual body weight station with weight, I think any sort of dip variation is an extremely good movement for building all over, overall kind of, obviously target, target and tricep, but overall chest, shoulder developments and kind of thickness across upper body. But I'm a big fan. For me, any sort of close grip press for triceps or anything, I don't really connect with. My wrists are dodgy, my shoulders are dodgy. So I think dips for me, it's just a comfortable movement which I feel pretty strong at and connect with pretty well. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Okay. When it comes to any fly movement, peg deck or even cable fly, I like to think about upper arm coming across the body. So, I then think about nearly when I contract, like biceps coming in to touch each other in the middle. What this will do is this will allow you to fully shorten your pec. If you think about just pulling with your hands, you'll see a lot of people literally going like this. And there's not much contraction in the chest here. So instead of like this, think about driving in and having that upper arm come across the body, trying to touch each other in the middle. And then obviously straight away, you can see my chest contracting in comparison to this. Ah. 
That's the last chest movement. So it's usually some sort of fly. So I like just finishing that last rep. Or I'll even add that in, you know, on each of the sets in a fly. Just kind of holding that stretch at the bottom on that, on that last rep. And I just feel like it really gives a nice stretch. And almost allows like just fresh, fresh blood to kind of rush into the muscle. It just feels nice. There's not, nothing scientific about it. Try it out, see what I mean. Just opens you up nice after contracting through the whole session and driving forwards. Just holding that stretch there and letting the weight pull against you just really opens up nicely. Prime side lateral up now. As you will see, the same cues as the boy raised earlier. I'm thinking about dragging out rather than just lifting the weight up. And if you will see from the sides, when I, when I pull, my hands kind of slightly leading in front of me like here. Like if I pull directly out to the sides, a lot of people will tend to kind of pull back into it. So I almost think about pulling slightly in front rather than pulling like this and then hunching up into it as well. session so far yeah everything is sore everything is pumped especially side delts uh, so one more set here and then basically into some arm work but um, yeah that's a lot of delt work a lot of side raises during this session white raise at the start and um, lateral prime here so yeah my side delts are, are really pumped but it's good um, yeah very smooth session
So with the overhead extension, the reason I'm doing it against this and not standing is because I have a very bad mobility in shoulders, as you can see. Getting overhead is horrible, but doing it this way, it allows me to kind of connect pretty well with it because it's a really, really fucking good movement. So I want to be able to do it. So the more I do it, the more I'm able to get into that position. But as you will see, I'm holding the stretch at the bottom as well for two to three seconds. I'm really trying to own that stretch position. So I'm trying to let that weight really pull my arm down. So the more that pulls, the long head of my tricep is really kind of stretching, um, which is kind of the, where I want to be working. I want to be working the long head in this, and I'm really focusing on, like I said, emphasizing that stretch at the bottom um, on every single rep. The weight isn't heavy, but it gets hard very, very fast. Don't be afraid to let that really pull you in. Get a deep stretch and make it hard on the stretch and the contraction. If you do this and just bounce up and down, it's gonna be very easy and it's not gonna do much for you. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm off to do some abs and calves now, but you don't need to see that, it's pretty boring. I do still do them, even though it doesn't look like I do, I do them, um, I do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Thank you for watching. I am actually off to Vegas next week to see the Olympia. So I will, I record vlogs out there, so a little bit of a different content rather than just training and food. Something a little bit different, so next week I'll be over there. Stay tuned, I will have vlogs up from over there. But um, thank you for watching the last few videos as well, I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, I am going to be more consistent with them. Obviously, I'll put one up weekly over the past like five, six weeks, so I will keep that coming. Like, subscribe, share as well. If you do enjoy them or if you find them beneficial, it would mean a lot. Um, and thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you.